I have been waiting to bring this radio to the channel since we seen it at the NPS 2019 event. I remember that day like yesterday because I received the copyright strike. Thanks a lot YouTube. But today we have it here and I am going through all the ins and outs. I'm going to let you see how it works, all the features it has to offer. We'll talk about build quality and we can reminisce a little bit. All right, but let's get this started. We can run this 100% off of battery power or you can plug it in. But what Milwaukee did right was you can charge your battery at the same time you are listening to your music while you have it plugged in. Now, not only can you set this up in your shop or wherever you're going to put it, it works with the Packout system. We brought this to you during the NPS 2019 event, and they showed us how we could stack it real nice like up on our Packout system. Not only that, you can actually put it in the middle of your Packout system or rearrange it whichever way you want. So if you don't want it sitting up on top like that, well, throw it in the middle somewhere and hike it up a mountain. Now, I heard a couple people saying that, well, this radio is kind of big, but I remember back in the day when big was cool. We went from this, yeah, 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 over to freaking this. Ugh, give me a break. But I am bringing back the coolness with the Milwaukee radio. Yeah, it's a little heavy and yeah, it's not as cool when you're 40, but whatever. Don't judge me. But seriously though, I miss the boom. I miss the bass. I miss being able to adjust the treble to how I wanted it. Even though I did have that fancy iPod pad, whatever, you still had to play it on a small crappy system. This right here is a mega beast. It will be heard throughout the shop and the entire worksite. It is a monster. Now you do have the AM and FM radio, which you know what, who listens to FM radio anyway, other than the car commercials and just horrible, horrible music that they play on the radio. You know, I can do it out, whatever, but it's there. You also have the antenna, you have all your presets, you have the Bluetooth that you can hook right up to your phone. You can also pause, skip, and rewind. You also have the EQ on here, which I'll show you in a bit. Now, if you want to switch back between the AM, FM, the Bluetooth, or the auxiliary cable, which this also has, all you got to do is hit the button. It'll switch that mode. But you can also hit that little Wi-Fi button down there, and it'll automatically hook it up to your phone. The EQ is also pretty cool. Now, the only thing you can really adjust is your bass and your treble, but what else are you really going to adjust? Your mids, your lows, whatever. You know, I don't think anybody really cares if it's that in depth. But all you do is hit the button and then use your tuner knob to adjust what you want. And I will tell you, the first thing that I wanted to see was, how did the bass sound, right? When I'm listening to my rock music, I want to hear some boom in my chest. This provides it. I was really surprised with how much bass this thing actually puts off. If you didn't want that much bass, well, bring it down, adjust the treble up a little bit, and it is super, super clear. It was just a crystal clear, super nice sounding radio. And you also get the handle right here. So if you want to be cool like me, you can just drag it around and throw it up on your shoulders. Or you can just bring it from site to site if you want to. Now, as for the speakers, you don't just get those two front speakers that are pushing it out towards you. It is a 360 degree sound machine. You got the two speakers on the back. And yeah, there's your antenna for your crappy FM radio. You also got the speakers on each side. All together, you're looking at a 10 speaker sound system. I was really impressed with how well this thing sounded and how much boom, how much bass, how crisp it was throughout the entire shop, even with the tools running. Now on the side here, this is where your battery goes and a couple other cool functions, which we'll talk about, but you can put any M18, you can put the 12AH battery in this if you wanted to. And just an FYI, on the back here, you can throw a couple AA batteries, which will keep your clock going if you unplug this or you don't have a battery. So just plug it in like so, and you are ready for hours and hours of use. You can also throw your auxiliary cable right here. You can plug your phone into it or your iPod, whatever, or you can charge your phone. You can even store your phone in there if you wanted to because that side case is so large. Now, if your battery is dead, what's cool about this is it is a complete charging system. You throw it in the back over there, you plug this radio in, and it acts just like your charger. You can see it light up red. That's telling you that it is in charge mode. And then once it turns green on the other side, well, your charge is done. Now, it works just like a regular charger. If something is wrong with the battery, if it's overheated, whatever, it'll start flashing and it'll alert you. It does charge at the pace as a regular M18 charger, not the supercharger, the rapid charge, just a regular charger. Now, as for the Bluetooth itself, you're looking at 4.2. I don't know what that means. I'm just letting you know. But it really does hook up very quickly and it stays connected. If you were wondering how far away from the radio you can be with your phone while you're streaming on the Bluetooth, they say up to 100 feet away. 
I will tell you that I did not break out my tape measure, but I was able to get very far away from the radio and it was still broadcasting. Now I did try to record the sound with my microphone on the camera. I had the bass up and then I had the bass down. There was so much bass when I turned it up, it just blurred, it just blew out my, my recording device. So it's not gonna sound all that great. So it's one of these radios that you're going to have to hear in person rather than hear through a video. But here's a little sample. Again, adjusting that bass, that treble, really simple to do. You just hit that button, that EQ button, and adjust it with your knob. And again, I'm telling you, it's not able to pick up on the camera as well. It is definitely one of those things that you're going to have to hear for yourself in person to appreciate. But man, this thing just wails. Now as for the speakers themselves, very, very heavy duty casing on the outside. So if you drop this thing, it should hold up. This thing is a little bit heavier, I will tell you that. The length of this radio, you're looking at 22 inches. The weight, 23 pounds, height 16.2 inches. The width is 6.77 inches. The build quality on this radio is really, really heavy duty. Hence their slogan, nothing but heavy duty. I seriously do not think you will have any issue banging this thing around on the job site. But if you do somehow find a way to bust it, there's a one year warranty on it. It does have the subwoofer for the deeper base. You're also going to get the weather seal storage compartment. You'll also get the 2.1 amp output for the USB to charge your phone or other devices. Hell, you'll even get a bottle opener and a wrap for your cord. So at the end of the day, what do I think about this? I think the build quality of this is excellent. I think the sound on this is probably one of the best I've ever had. And I've had a lot of radios. The sound quality, the bass, the treble adjustments, they are just flawless. The, the, the music is crisp. You know, if you wanted to listen to talk radio, you can turn that bass down. It, it is just a very well sounding radio and you get that 360 degrees. You can also put this on your pack out in the middle of your pack out on the top of your pack out. You know, you have that storage option there. It clips in and you just push that little button to release. The battery compartment, it is sealed up. You don't have to worry about water getting in there. And this little sticker right here, FYI, doesn't do anything. I just can't remove it because, well, I don't have any nails, which people point out to me in every single video. I think it's just a really, really well done radio. It sounds great. It's built great. You know, even if you're not in the platform, Milwaukee platform, well, you can just plug this thing in if you didn't want to go completely cordless. If you wanted to buy it separately, right now you're looking at $299, but I'm sure there are sales that come and go, so look for those. Again, I'll put a link in the description below, let you check it out. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tour reviews. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tour Review Zone, and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.